Do you have single glazed windows and want to save on your energy bills? Then plexiglass secondary glazing is the ideal solution. In this video, we explain step by step how to tackle installation in two common methods. With plasticsheetshop.co.uk, you can easily order your cut to size secondary glazing, including the necessary installation materials. The preferred option is always the installation variant with glazing clips, but this is not always structurally possible. If your frame is narrower than 3.5 cm, we recommend the fixed installation method. In either case, it must be possible to drill into the frame. For details and alternative installation options, see our blog in the description. We start first with the installation method with glazing clips, then we explain the fixed installation method. You will need the following items to do the job. Secondary glazing, glazing clips, insulation tape, duct tape, scissors, screwdriver with Phillips bit, pencil, ruler or tape measure, anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner, long wooden slat and G-clamps. Do you need help in determining the correct dimensions of the required secondary glazing? Then click on the link in the description to download the measuring instructions. Once you have assembled everything you need, the installation can begin. Take the secondary glazing and remove the protective film on one side. Then clean the edges of the sheet with an anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner. The insulation tape is applied to these edges. Lay a slat of wood along the edge and clamp it with, for example, a G-clamp. This will make sticking a lot easier. Note, the insulation tape sticks instantly making it difficult to remove and re-stick. After cutting the tape off, press it down firmly. Make sure that the insulation tape in the corners fits tightly together so that no drafts can get through. Could your frame get damp on the inside? Then consider creating ventilation. You do that by leaving out two centimeters at the bottom left and right. To mount the secondary glazing on the frame, mark off the correct positions. Draw a line at the top on the left and right, 2 cm from the edge. Do the same on the left and right sides. Apply duct tape to the top of the secondary glazing to temporarily fix the secondary glazing. Then place the secondary glazing on the marked position on the frame. Now apply a piece of duct tape at the bottom as well to fix the window securely. Next, you mark the position where the glazing clips should go. You do this 5 cm from the corners. In doing so, keep a distance of 6 mm from the edge. After marking off the glazing clips at the corners, distribute the remaining glazing clips spaced equally apart. Keep a distance of 30 to 40 cm between the clips. Take the glazing clips and first remove the protective film from the glazing clips. Then assemble the glazing clips. Once the glazing clips are complete, you can start applying them. Place the spacer against the sheet at the marked position so that it is clamped in place. The glazing clips should be able to keep turning, so don't screw them too tight. When all the glazing clips have been secured, the duct tape can be removed. Open all glazing clips and remove the secondary glazing. Now you can remove the protective film from the other side of the sheet and you can clean the secondary glazing well with an anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner. Never use glass cleaner as this can make the secondary glazing dull. When the secondary glazing is clean, you can place it back. Tighten the glazing clips again so that the window is fixed. And you're done. In the description, you will find a link to our handy step-by-step -step guide, the measuring instructions and all the necessary products. Is your frame narrower than 3.5 centimeters or is your window larger than 2 meters? Then the fixed installation is often a good alternative. For sheets longer than 2 meters, choose a thick secondary glazing of 5 millimeters. You will need the following items to do the job. Secondary glazing, screws with nylon washers, insulation tape, duct tape, 3 mm diameter wood drill bit, screwdriver and Torx bit, pencil, ruler or tape measure, anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner, long wooden slat and G-clamps. Do you need help determining the correct dimensions of the required secondary glazing? Then click on the link to the measuring instructions in the description. Once you have assembled everything you need, the installation can begin. We assume you have ordered a plexiglass sheet 4mm thick with pre-drilled holes. You can also drill the holes yourself. The holes should be 5mm in diameter and should be 1.2cm from the edge and 5cm from the corners. Place the remaining holes at a distance of 30 to 40cm. For more tips, watch our video on plexiglass drilling.
Take the secondary glazing and remove the protective film on one side. Then, clean the edges of the sheet with an anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner. The insulation tape is applied to these edges. Lay a slat of wood along the edge and clamp it with, for example, a G-clamp. This will make sticking a lot easier. Note, the insulation tape sticks instantly, making it difficult to remove and re-stick. After cutting the tape off, press it down firmly. Make sure that the insulation tape in the corners fits tightly together so that no drafts can get through. Could your frame get damp on the inside? Then consider creating ventilation. You do that by leaving out 2 cm at the bottom left and right. To mount the secondary glazing on the frame, mark off the correct positions. Draw a line at the top on the left and right, 2 cm from the edge. Do the same on the left and right sides. Apply duct tape to the top of the secondary glazing to temporarily fix the secondary glazing. Then place the secondary glazing on the marked position on the frame. Now apply a piece of duct tape at the bottom as well to fix the window securely. Before fixing the secondary glazing with screws, we pre-drill the holes with a 3mm drill bit. It is important to pre-drill with the drill bit in the center of the hole. Once you have determined the positions for screwing, remove the secondary glazing. Now drill to 4 cm deep. Once the holes are drilled, you can clean the secondary glazing with anti-static cloth and cleaner. Then place it back with the tape to fix it. Now take the screws and apply the washers. When you have the screws ready, remove the protective film at the positions where the secondary glazing is fixed with screws. Now you can start fixing the secondary glazing with screws. You do this with a cordless drill, set to low speed. You will need a Torx bit for screwing. Screw in the screws gently to avoid tension on the window. Now you can remove the protective film from the other side of the sheet, and you can clean the secondary glazing well with an anti-static cloth and anti-static cleaner. Now you can enjoy the stunning end result. In the description, you will find a link to our handy step-by-step -step guide, the measuring instructions, and all the necessary products.